the blood was shed. It wasn't just for some, it was for all. All you got to do is believe it, it's finished. He not only destroyed man's works, but he destroyed the enemy that caused it. Three were crucified that day. The Son of God, the man Adam, and so was the devil. All he can do today is bark. He has been completely powerless. Do you understand when you make something powerless? You have a radio that's not plugged in. You have a machine with no fuel. He rendered him powerless. But if you don't know it, you will run by fear. But he didn't give you a spirit of fear. But a power, love, and sound mind. I'm very aware of the enemy's tactics and devices. But listen to me carefully. He is the prince of this world. But I am not of this world. I don't breathe this air. I have been translated out of darkness into his marvelous light. I have nothing to do with the fallen man anymore. I have nothing to do with sin or sinners. You see, sin was crucified. Y'all don't believe it, do you? Do you understand the glory of the victory of the cross? What we need to do is change our mind. Be renewed in the spirit of your mind that you may be able to put on the new man which is created after God in true righteousness. Ephesians chapter 4. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ is something you do, we were told last night. Anybody remember? Paul said, I want to know him in the power of his resurrection. Not that I have attained, but I am pressing to the mark of the high calling that is in Christ Jesus. You see, we go from glory to glory, from victory to victory, because it's finished already. Can I give you one more verse? Genesis chapter 2. Verse 1. Ready? Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And God ended his work. Say it with me. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all. Say all. Say all again. All the host of them. The word finished means cause to be. Listen, came to being, come to pass. He brought it to a complete assembly. He completed it, finished it, made it, caused it to be. That's important. The word host of them. The word host means the mass of persons. The mass of all of them. In heaven and earth were finished. Ready? Are you ready? You see, you were finished. Before you ever came to the planet. Let me try that again. You were a finished work before you ever began. All you did is come into the unveiling of that which is already done. You were chosen in Him before the foundation of the world. You have been predestined to be the image of Christ. You came to Him because He drew you. You love him because he loved you first. I don't think you're hearing me. Listen to me carefully. Everything in God works at its highest peak. Nothing in God can work lukewarm. Nothing in God can be fulfilled partway, halfway. Everything in God must be satisfied at its highest position. So I'm going to say this and I'm going to be done. The grand finale of your spirit in God. Listen. The highest point of your spirit. When your spirit reached its highest point in God, you are born. We were chosen in Him before the foundation, harmonizing in the Spirit of God. Remember, he is, he is the light that lighteth every man that comes into the world. So when you understand, you see, God did not get you born, hear me, to get you finished. God finished you first, and then you got born. God didn't start you to bring you to an end. God got your end first and started you. You didn't come out to have a destiny. You had a destiny already and then you came out. 
You wouldn't be here if there was no purpose in you. But you're going to press to the mark. Because you see, in Hebrews 4, it tells us, even though it was done and finished from the foundation of the world, the children of Israel fell short of the promise, even though it was finished. It's because they didn't take the word and mix it with faith. And therefore, they didn't believe it. So people can say what they want. But you see, I don't believe I'm a sinner anymore. And the more I believe it, the less I sin. Now, listen, please hear this right. Just because you sin, it doesn't make you a sinner. Just because you, listen, if you have planted cucumbers in your backyard, it doesn't make you a cucumber farmer. It, now, I'm not justifying any sin. Please hear this. But you got to grow up and knock it off. But if you don't know the truth, that's already finished in you. You see, I won the race before I ran. I won the battle before I fought. I finished before I got started. He finished the heavens and the earth and the whole host of them. You were done before you were ever finished. Why do you think there's a birth when a man and woman come together in holy matrimony and under the covenant of God, there's a climax, there's a high point, there's a grand finale. At the highest point of intimacy, a baby was born. At the highest point of your intimacy in God, at the highest point of expression, at the highest union of fellowship, at the grand finale of the highest point of a climax in the Spirit of God, you had to be revealed. You see, God is so spirit, so God, so good, he had to be revealed. That's why when a husband looks into his wife's eyes and he's overwhelmed by the love he has for her, he doesn't say, do you need groceries? He says, I love you. God so, so, so loved. He couldn't help himself, but he had to give the most precious thing. So the grand finale of your spirit you became visible. At the grand finale of your highest point that you've reached, you had to be born. At the climax, the intensity that was in your spirit in God had to bring forth an effect, a birth. At the highest, fullest development, you were born. Your life does not exist because you were born, but you were born because your life existed. So when we understand in Christ, we are being brought back to the place where the same force, the same passion, the same love that brought you out is bringing you back in. Somebody say hallelujah. You don't. Listen. In Romans 11, it says, all things are of him, through him, back to him again. One more time. Say it. All things are of him, through him, and back to him. See what God is saying? I brought all things out of me. If you want to come back to me, you're going to come through me. Anything that's going to come through me better be like me or it's not going in. Are you all... Everything that came out of God must go back into God. That God be all in all. Because God can only be satisfied with God. God can only fellowship with God. God only can fellowship in the beauty of harmony and agreement with himself. 